A federal judge on Monday of this week gave Donald Trump and his lawyers a little bit more time to craft a proper legal argument as to why he shouldn't have to release his tax returns to Democrats in the house of representatives. I don't like this decision at all, but the judge said he is uh, uh, setting a hearing, the first hearing on this matter for November. So they probably have a good three months before they actually have to go to court and start making any arguments as to why Trump should be able to keep his tax returns hidden. So I think that's a ridiculous decision. I think this is something that could probably be resolved in half a day. Hell do the damn thing over zoom after five o'clock, you know, whatever, make it happen because we know this whole thing is stupid. And here's why we know it's stupid. First and foremost, when Donald Trump first refused to turn his tax returns over, when they were uh, requested by, I think it was 2019 by the Democrats on the committee, uh, after they had retaken the house of representatives, uh, he fought it, but it wasn't just him fighting it. He had the full weight of the United States federal government behind him to fight it for him. Now he doesn't. Now he is actually working against the federal government because they're the ones, the DOJ who told the treasury department, you got to turn these things over. So now he has to hire his private lawyers to fight against the U S department of justice. And that is going to be a losing battle. I don't care who you are. It's, it's incredibly hard to win that. Even when you're right in some instances, I have seen tons of good lawyers have to go up against the DOJ, even in cases that were rock solid and the DOJ still seems to win. It's the federal government folks. It is hard to beat. Another problem that Trump has, according to tax law experts, tax lawyers and tax law professors is that they don't have a legal case at all. Even if they can prove beyond a doubt that the whole thing is partisan just to target Donald Trump, which is what they're arguing. These tax professors are saying it doesn't actually matter because all the Democrats have to do is say, no, we have a legit legislative purpose which they have. They have said that we need to look at these to see if the IRS, if we need to pass legislation. Uh, so the IRS has stricter rules about presidential tax returns. And what's funny about this is that this is the exact same thing that I told you last week is the exact same thing. I said that thing that this legal argument that no, you can't have it because it's partisan. You don't have a legislative purpose. If Democrats come back and say, actually, yes, we do. And here it is, your argument falls apart. So it's always nice to be validated by people who specialize in this, which is what is exactly happening. They say they don't have a case because if the Democrats can prove that they actually have legislation in mind, everything's out the window and you cannot mess with that authority that the committee has to request the tax return information from literally any American citizen. Trump's going to lose this, which is why I'm annoyed that it's been pushed to November. Why not make him go ahead and lose it this week? You know, maybe push something else back instead that doesn't involve the former president of the United States, right? This one kind of seems a little important. Although I got to say the other flip side of that is that I don't think it's super important. What are they looking for in these tax returns? Why is Trump desperately trying to hide them? That's the answer I want. And as I've repeatedly said, I think the main reason he's trying to hide them is because they're embarrassing because he's probably not worth as much as he says he is. I think that is the damning information that the Democrats are going to find out. If you can find criminal activity in there, which I don't know how you can discern that from a uh, tax return, but if you can find it more power to you, I'm all for prosecuting the guy if he's committed crimes. But I think we all know that's not what this is about anymore. This is about embarrassing the guy, which I'm not fully against. I just don't know that uh, the public cares enough anymore to watch Trump get embarrassed. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know either way. Things aren't looking good for Donald Trump. So even with this extra three months, he's still probably going to lose because their legal argument is absolute trash.